Hey guys, welcome back. I am going to share my November favorites with you right now. So, yeah, I'm wearing a hoodie right now because honestly, I couldn't help myself because I just got this thing and it is so funny. It is so funny. Here, I wanted to show it to you guys so that you get a kick out of it. This hoodie, I got this, I, I found it on a on a link that came up on Facebook from the Cat Daddy. He does the show, My Cat From Hell. I don't know if you guys watch that, but I'm a cat person and I do. So um, this had popped up on my Facebook page and it says, it says, I hug my cat so I don't punch people in the throat. <laughs> I just thought that was so funny and I don't know. I just felt like wearing it in my, in my um, November favorites and I figured you guys should appreciate it because it's so, how funny is it? Um, I just, I look like a mixed bag of tricks right now. Like my hair is in a sleek bun. I've got this little Christmas thing right here, big lashes and a sweatshirt. But hey, this is Sam and you guys have to accept me for who I am because you have to, you have to. Okay, so I have a bunch of favorites to show you guys. I don't know how long this is gonna be, but sit back and get comfy. Um, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna start with this product. This is from Bioderma. This is the uh, Sensibio H2O. This is a makeup removing solution. I love this product and it's great for removing eye makeup, especially stubborn waterproof eye makeup, especially like lash glue. This stuff is bomb. I love this. I got this sample at the makeup show last year and I never used it and I started using it a few months ago and now I absolutely am in love. I am enamored with Bioderma. Uh, I really like the sensitive skin one. I have not tried the other one. I hear that the other one can burn your eyes. I don't know if that's accurate in it, but uh, this is not for my eyes at all. I love this. You can see like I don't have a ton left. I have maybe about a third left, a little less, no, a little bit more than a third left. So I will definitely be repurchasing that. It's a great, great eye makeup remover. Um, I went through my Sephora eye makeup remover pretty quickly. This seems to last a long time. So yeah, how I use it in case you guys are wondering. Let me show you, let me show you. I take little cotton rounds and then I'll soak the Bioderma and then I'll just rust it on my eyes and then just wipe it away and then it takes my eye makeup away. Then I would clean my face with a makeup wipe and or wash my face regularly. Okay, so I've been loving that. You got it? You got it? Okay. I feel like my eyes are so heavy right now with these lashes. Like, ugh. I originally did this look. Actually, I feel like I have something in my eye. If truth be told. Anyway, um, I feel like these lashes are very heavy. I did this tutorial and I had like a little bit of a meltdown during the tutorial. And I never put lashes on because I screwed it up. So I came back and put lashes on later. And yeah, okay. So next thing we've got. I'll have you guys know that I am currently on a prednisone for my cough. I know a lot of you have um, expressed concern, but here's my prednisone. I am now on because this cough is secondary from my bronchitis two months ago. And I guess some weird allergic rhinitis allergy business has been keeping up the cough. So I just wanted you guys to know I am on the mend. Hopefully. Pregnant is not better work. Okay. So this next product that I love, I actually got a sample of in one of my subscription boxes. I think it was the first Sephora box I got, I want to say the Sephora Play Box, maybe the second Sephora Play Box, and this is called the Belief True, Be uh, True in, Believe in Truth, the True Cream Aqua Bomb. So this is a moisturizer. You can use this a morning or night. I got a sample, and I did get the full size one as well. I got this in my Gen Beauty bag, in my swag bag. It's pretty exciting. So this is what it looks like. It's just this light blue kind of aqua cream really nice it melts right into your skin at ugh, hiccuping it melts right into your skin and it leaves it super moisturized without leaving that greasy feel i've been using this for about i want to say i don't know uh, i think i started using it in september this little sample lasted me like i don't know six weeks it was ridiculous how long this sample lasted because you just need like a tiny drop and your whole face is just covered it is so beautiful again a belief Belief, believe in truth. Okay, so that is the piranha. I don't know if I mentioned this in last one's favorites, but assuming I didn't, my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. I absolutely love this product. I don't know how there's still so much left. I use this thing every time I put on makeup. 
what I do is wash my face and moisturize, let the moisturizer soak in, then I drench my face in this, then I take a beauty blender with my foundation and I apply my foundation straight away when it's still wet. And it makes my foundation just glide on, it makes it look like skin, it takes away that makeup-y look and it, it just, it's, it dilutes the, the, the makeup, it dilutes the liquid makeup and just makes it spread all over my face so nicely, you guys. Like when I spray this first, not only does it keep the makeup on longer, it makes it look better. I love it. Right now, I'll have you know that Matthew is inside making me my favorite dinner. Talking about cleansers and beauty blenders, I'm going to show you this. This looks so rank, you guys. Um, I think I have something on my eyeball still. Something in my eyeball. Okay, I know this looks a little bit rank, but I have been absolutely loving my I've been absolutely loving this product right here. This is the Beauty Blender Solid Cleanser. I keep it in just like one of these little dishes from my kitchen and I let it dry out and I sit it in there and then I just pop it into my drawer. Um, this is one of the samples I got from Sephora. It took me months, months to like this and then once I started using it to clean my Beauty Blender, I just, I can't believe I'm using anything except for this to clean my beauty blender. I did use this to clean a bunch of my brushes as well. Such a good product. I have the Sephora um, little gift card thing that I got in the mail for Christmas and I am absolutely going to be repurchasing. No, purchasing it for the first time, not repurchasing, repurchasing. I got it as a sample. So I'm definitely going to be purchasing that. It is so good when it comes to, to cleaning your beauty blender. Like, I used to use like a antibacterial hand soap with no fragrance and no color or anything like that and it would just never really get the beauty blender that clean. I've used dish soap and all that. The solid is the way to go. I mean, hello? It is the product pairing so why would I think that anything would work better? Okay, anyways. For hair, I've been loving this product. I got this a few months ago as a PR sample. This is the Redken Pillow Proof Blow Dry 2 Day Extender. This is a dry shampoo. So this will keep your hair looking clean after you blow dry it. So that's what it means by blow dry extender. It'll keep your hair from looking oily. It is so good, you guys. It's very expensive. I probably won't be repurchasing it just because it's so expensive and Batiste is like a fraction of the price, but if I find this on sale at Ulta, I will buy it. Such a good product and it's pink. It's pink and pretty. It does not leave white cast on your hair, which is great. Batiste does do that. It leaves a white cast and you have to massage your hair, you have to massage your scalp to get it off. This does not do that. That is a bonus. You know, maybe I will be repurchasing re 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 that. I can't justify spending a lot of money on dry shampoo though, but you know, you know, you know, because it doesn't last all that long. Um, this has been lasting longer than um, Batiste though. I have to be completely truthful about this. And look how cute it is. So cute. Alright, let's move on. I'm going to talk about a candle. How about I talk about a candle? And this candle from Jouer. I went to a Jouer event and I got this little puppy. So good. It smells like gardenia. I love gardenia, you guys. It is my favorite scent. This smells like gardenia, jasmine, and honeysuckle. It's a soy candle. Ugh. You guys might see this a lot back here up on my thing. I will only, I will only burn this for like 15 minutes at a time and then I shut it off. Well, shut it off. I blow it out because I don't want this to go away. Once this runs out, I'm definitely going to have to purchase this from Jouer. It's so beautiful. They have a whole range of gardenia products and I love gardenia. So, yes. Okay, next I'm going to talk about some makeup. Um, actually, I'm going to talk about all makeup and a couple of things that I don't like also I'm going to talk about. I hate getting to that part of the video. But anyway, I'm going to talk about this. I got this a while back. This is part of the Tarte Holiday Collection. This is the Easy Glowing Cheek Deluxe Set. It looks like this. It comes with a highlighter and a cheek stain. This cheek stain is called Days. Now, I never use this because I don't really like their cheek stains all that much anymore. Like, I did a review on them a year or two ago, and I like them. I like them enough but I won't wear them. Does that make sense? <laughs> like, I don't hate them, and if people want to use them, I'm not going to be like, oh, they're bad. But it's just not something that I gravitate towards. But the highlighter that comes in this little duo right here gives me life. Now, this is called Enthused. 
It is absolutely stunning. It is this champagne highlight. Let's see if we can just show you how beautiful. It's just this metallic-y peach, if you could see it here on my finger. Um, I am wearing that on my cheeks right now. It's so beautiful. It's right, where is it? Right here. And let me show you. I'm going to show you on a brush. You can see it. I have to do the other side, of course. Like, look at that. That highlight, though, it's so beautiful. And honestly, Tarte really isn't known for their highlighters because they don't have a lot of them. This is stunning, you guys. Oh, it's so beautiful. I have been wearing this like crazy this month. Absolutely beautiful. I need to stop saying beautiful. It is a great product, and I love it. And you should definitely give it a shot if you have the opportunity to do that. Let's talk about another highlighter. This is called Glow, no, Pink Glow by Peony. Um, this is a botanical, nutritious, color, luminizing stick. Now, I received this from this, um, this box that I received, and this is called the Nourish Beauty Box. And they send you a bunch of products that are all natural, and uh, I received this earlier in, um, November so this is one of the products that came with it with it it actually also came with like Derma Deli pumpkin seed serum it came with like this little bag here and it also came with a coffee scrub which is currently in my shower so I could scrub a body but I wanted to show you guys this because this product so beautiful this is a gorgeous pink highlighter and I am loving this because it's got this like just beautiful dual chrome. Can you guys see it's right here? So stunning. And that would actually make a great lid color also, but I mean, it's meant to be a highlighter. So, so pretty, you guys. I love this. And um, such a good little product. And I'm glad that I got the Nourish Box. I mean, that, gorgeous, gorgeous. I love it, I love it. You guys know I love me a highlighter. Okay. This month I've been using a lot. These two foundations are it's the same foundation, two separate colors. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte Poreless. Now my two colors that I use are 110 Porcelain and 112 Ivory. The Ivory one is a little bit more pink and the 110 Porcelain is a little bit more yellow. So I mix these two to get my perfect shade and when I apply this I use the Beauty Blender and I do the whole um, Smashbox photo finish water thing and then I apply this and it looks stunning. It's so beautiful. I still like my makeup forever. Um, Ultra HD foundation a little bit more because it's a better color match, but I do love this. I think it's a great found the great foundations, especially for a drugstore. And if you're looking for matte foundations that help with your pores and keep you matte reasonably long, it's a gorgeous product. I I really highly recommend that foundation. It's, it's super good. Okay, so this month I've been loving these products from Eve Pearl. I have gotten back into my Eve Pearl back Black Pearl Liquid Eyeliner, which I use today. This is a great liquid liner. The brush tip really is just unparalleled. I love the calligraphy tip and it just, it's beautiful. I love, just, yeah. So you guys know, if you've been watching me for any length of time, you know you've seen me use this in countless tutorial, the countless tutorials, so it's great. But I don't really talk about a lot of other Eve Pearl products, but I recently received a few products that I am absolutely blown out of the water with and the first one is this this is the Eve Pearl fan brush now I've been using this nearly every day to apply my highlighter you just saw me pull out like my cheap little shitty highlight brush you know because like if I want to put like dense highlight on I go for this but for regular highlighters like um if I want to go for regular highlighters like the Becca one, I will go for a brush like this because this is so highly pigmented. You don't necessarily want to use a dense brush like this. This is the perfect, look, look, just, you can see. See, there's my proof. There's the proof that I use it. Um, it adds the perfect amount of highlight and because of the angle of the fan brush, it, it just gives the perfect curvature to my face. I love this fan brush. It is so great. It is my favorite one like this and you could just use it to put it on the bridge of your nose, wherever you want to put your highlight. This is a great brush. And also from Eve Pearl, what I've been loving is this blush trio. This blush trio, guys, is just 
beautiful and this is called sweet cheeks and it has a three radiant what does it say radiant shades and these colors you know what I've honestly been doing is mixing all three colors together with my blush brush like I'll just take all three and just kind of use them but my favorite one is this one here is this like this peachy color let me show you guys and it's here in the middle if you can see that these are really great neutral blushes that are going to give you a nice soft look without overpowering your face and they're just really beautiful blushes i love them i love them so much and i love the trio like how cool sleek nice compact oh it's a little dirty a little dirty <laughs> don't judge me okay next i'm going to talk about a nail polish this is by essie this is called forever yummy this is the red color you see on my nails i have um my favorite ornament from OPI as the gold and this is the red on my nails. This is my favorite red nail polish. I got this a month or two ago and I'm just, I've been obsessing over it. I think it's so beautiful and it's just so striking. I think it's a great red. It's a true red where it's almost like blood, you know, blood red. But uh, it's really pretty. I love it. So if you guys are looking for a nice creamy rich red, then try Forever Yummy by Essie. I'm going to talk about two pieces of jewelry before I get into all my lip products because you guys, I have a lot of lip products to talk about. First is this bracelet. This is a bangle snap bracelet that I got from Charming Charlie. I have found that a lot of the earrings I get from Charming Charlie are crap. I'm very unhappy to say that, but the bracelets and the necklaces are really good. So this is just like a sparkly little bangle and I bought the matching earrings and they broke literally the first time I wore them. Not cool, but it's so pretty. It's got that diamond kind of reflective, um, it kind of feels like a nail file, if that makes sense. But um, it's so, so pretty, and when you pair this with um, like black clothing, oh my gosh, like who needs a diamond tennis bracelet when you have this? It's so pretty. Also, a necklace I've been going, banana ham sandwich. Huh? Uh, banana sandwich over is this beautiful necklace and I had gotten this from a happiness boutique and I've been wearing this every chance that I get you guys I wore this in my recent um, uh, plus size lookbook which thank you guys so much for all your support on that lookbook um, I know there's like a little bit of controversy in my comments and I just tend to like delete negative comments because I can't really even deal with it but um a lot of people are like oh sam you know sizes 10 to 14 aren't really plus size well it depends on who you speak to and um i don't think people should be getting offended at the word plus size like really it's just a description it means like i'm not a size two you know there's nothing wrong with being size 12 14 and i'm proud of myself and um i just yeah, yeah, does that make sense? Okay, let me just go back to the necklace. So anyway, in my plus size haul, I'm wearing this necklace. It's so beautiful. It's got these aqua tassels, and it just it looks so tribal and pretty, and oh, I love it. I love this so much. So I will link this below, along with everything else, of course. Oh, Danny, Danny, you know my best friend Danny, of course, break from Danny. She wanted to know if I was able to finish filming. Uh, earlier when I was filming, I had like a meltdown during my tutorial. I'll probably leave that footage in. Okay, so we have a few more products to talk about. And a lot of these are lip products. Let me talk about the two non-lip products. First is my NYX Micro Burl Pencil in Taupe. I have gotten back into using this again. For the last few months, I got away from using this because I was only using my Dip Brow Pomade from Anastasia Beverly Hills and Blonde. I really wasn't using this a lot. So I got into using this again about a month, you know, I don't know, four weeks ago, and I'm absolutely loving it. It's just such a great brow product, and yeah, I like I like using this, especially when I go full on taupe with my brows. Um, this next one is It Cosmetics No Tug Waterproof Gel Eyeliner. This is in the color Black Brown. This is a smudge proof, proof eyeliner and it's super creamy and pigmented. It's not the creamiest, honestly. Like the NYX uh, gel pencils, like these, like these are creamier. Like these are way creamier. But these are still creamy, but if they're too creamy, how many times do I say creamy? 
if they're too soft, then they don't stay in the waterline. So this is really great. I've been using this a lot at the lash line, just putting it right at the base of my lashes and kind of smudging it out for a grungy look. Like As you guys can tell, like I've been going for the grungy look lately. Um, that's what I'm doing right now. Um, one product that I absolutely damn hate is this. This is the Lock On Lash Super Bonding Latex Free Adhesive for stripping individual lashes. This is the most awful eyelash glue I've ever tried. This does not keep your lashes on at all. So if you want to put strip lashes on, you have to bring this with you. Um, great that it's a brush tip. Like, I don't like brush tip. I know a lot of people do. But I think this is an awful product. I'm throwing it out right now. It does not stick. Um, it stays glossy. It's more like a black eyeliner. It's more like, it reminds me of like the Urban Decay um, liquid eyeliner than anything else. Because that's what it looks like. It's shiny. You can almost peel it off. Ugh. The product sucks. That product just sucks. Okay, so lastly, we're going to talk about a bunch of lip products that I have been wearing like crazy. Maybe we should wipe our hands off. Okay. Do you guys see what I got recently? I got more of my Maybelline Express Clean Express Wipes. I'm so excited for that. I shouldn't be wasting one on my hands. Really, I should get the e.l.f. ones. Anyway, um, let me show you the lipsticks that I've been wearing like crazy this month. Uh, let me start with the combination I'm wearing on my lips right now. This is the Hourglass, the Hourglass Femme Nude in number six. And I got this a while back when I was visiting Danny. And this is a great pinky nude. I love this shade. It's so beautiful. And it smells like a crayon, but don't judge it. It's okay. It's still a great product. And I'm pairing that with this Sephora um, lip gloss in Perfect Nude. And this is almost like a liquid lipstick lip gloss. And I've been pairing these two together a lot this month. And it makes such a beautiful nude. And again, that's what I'm wearing right now. And it's so pretty. Look at that. This goes, gr goes great with like a grungy brown smoky eye like I'm wearing now. So these two products are bomb.com you guys love it not long wearing at all um, it wears off naturally but I don't mind that at all I don't need all my products to be long wearing um, the next duo is an oldie but goodie and I've been wearing this duo for years and this is max cherry lip liner and it's perfect for the holiday season because it is the gorgeous blue base red and you can wear this on its own really but I love to pair it with Ruby Woo, which is an absolutely beautiful matte red, and it's so bright. It's blue base, makes your teeth look white, and it's so stunning. These two paired together is the ultimate in red lips for Christmas, and it gives that suede look to your lips because it is a matte finish. Um, one thing that you want to do is one thing you want to do is use this underneath Ruby Woo, and this is the Mac Prep and Prime lip. And this will keep your lips moisturized and you won't feel like tugging when you're applying the lipstick because that is very, very dry. So these two products together are just, oh, this is my favorite lip combination. I do love Russian Red too, but like Ruby Woo has my heart for my favorite lip, red lipstick of all time, you guys. Like of all time, I love it. It is absolutely stunning. Uh, the next combination that I've been loving is a Night Moth Lip Liner by MAC as well. This is like MAC show. <laughs> and this is just like a, a blackened purple. And that's what Night Moth looks like. Now this can be paired with anything. It's so versatile you wouldn't think it would be. But I've been loving pairing it with Sin Lipstick. And the two together are so stinking pretty, you guys so good and it just gives a great gothic deep lip it was great for fall it's going to be great for winter i love the two this is a matte finish as well so the same rules apply it can get a little rough applying that on your lips so you definitely want to use a primer like mac prep and prime definitely you guys and the last thing i'm going to talk about this is so random but i had to mention it because i use it all the time and i never talk about it and it's this you're like well, sam what the is that this is like a little razor and I use this to clean up my brows when I'm feeling lazy I don't feel like plucking what I'll do is kind of lift up my brow and like like razor off the little extra hairs or razor off the little hairs in between my brows like the little fuzzies and sometimes I get like little fuzzies up here that I'll kind of razor off and then when I do my mustache and my beard oh my no 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 I did 
Is it happening? Is it happening? No, I'm kidding. No, but um, I when I get little weird stray hairs like around my eyebrows and my forehead here, I will razor them off with these little things. You can get these really anywhere. I forget who even makes these. I think it's called Trim makes them. You get them like three for a dollar also, also at the dollar store. But the thing with that is if you use the ones from the dollar store, uh, they don't stay sharp as long as these do. So these are a great product. Let me clean my hand before this winds up on my beautiful new sweatshirt. Okay guys, well I hope you enjoyed my November favorites. I will link everything that I can find in the description bar for you. So if you want to pick any of it up, it will be linked. Easy peasy, right? Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Have you guys been listening to Christmas music? You know, the next time I'm going to be doing one of these videos, it's going to be my 2015 best of video. I know you guys are so excited for that. Um, yeah, if you're looking for a tutorial on this look, it should be up on my channel or coming up on my channel soon. It should be this week. Um, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and the holiday season is being good to you guys. I love you so much. Thank you for all your support. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.